So by the title of this video, you guys can already tell what this video is going to be about. And for some of you, you already know. Um, looks like uh, last night's game um, had another victim or two take uh, to take with it. Yeah, the Niners, um, I'm quoting Ronbo Sports. He's a big 49er YouTuber. He's probably the best there is. Um, he says the 49ers are just not going to leave any games without losing players this season, and I agree. Uh, this year is, um, I can't say it's like no other because we've had a lot of previous seasons with uh, IR like this, but uh, this one's a tough one. Um, Raheem Mostert suffered a high ankle, high ankle sprain and will likely have, be um, put on IR along with Ben Garland. Um, this is one of those three-week <clears throat> IRs, you know, not the, the full long-term one. And it goes... And it's a, a stretch of games that we could really use them, and we really need them. Uh, we got the Pats, the Seahawks, the Packers, and the Saints, uh, if he misses the next four. And um, I feel like Raheem is the, the one that stirs the drink on our offense. Um, Kittle is the man, but, you know, he needs the quarterback to get him the ball, whereas Raheem can do things on his own, um, along with, you know, the help of the quarterback, of course. But um, the Niners now currently have 12 players on IR. Just uh, let that sink in. It's a lot. It's a lot of players. Uh, but this one's going to hurt the worst. Um, these high ankle sprains, I feel like uh, everybody in our team has a high ankle sprain right now, the way that this is going. Um, this is going to put a lot of onus on Jimmy Garoppolo to stop being carried by the team and protected and actually be the one that leads us to victory because he's not going to have Raheem to fall back on. He's going to have to do this on his own. And uh, it starts next week against the Pats, against his his former team. Um, you know, Bill Belichick had a lot of glowing things to say about him, but uh, he just pretty much said, like, you know, I hope he does well, just not this week, which – you know, is an obvious, an obvious thing, but, uh, it's just unfortunate that, uh, Raheem goes down. Um, no word on Jeff Wilson Jr. If his calf is going to be good enough for next week. Um, looks like Jamichael Hasty's going to get more carries, which I'm fine with. Um, I feel like he surpassed Jarek McKinnon. I just feel like Jared McKin Jarek McKinnon, they call him, uh, uh, the jet, but I don't see much of a jet. I feel like he's slow. Um, he's good catching passes, but as far as his burst in the middle of the field um, between the tackles, I, I don't see it. Uh, my Mc, uh, McCasty, um, he's uh, he's got some burst. He's not as quick as Brita, but he definitely has some burst in the hole. And uh, I I feel like the Niners are starting to figure that one out. Um, and uh, they, they definitely gave him more carries, and you didn't see uh, Jet, Jet McKinnon as much last night after that. Um, so we'll see. Uh, we'll see what goes down these next uh, four weeks. Everybody's going to have to step their game up. A uh, lot more of the Jet sweeps, a lot more of Debo and uh, Kittle and all that stuff. The Niners are going to have to get really creative with their offense to – uh, beat these next four teams. I will say, though, that I think out of the four, I think Seattle has one of the worst defenses of the four. Um, and, of course, the Packers got a 30-burger put on them by Tampa. So, and the Saints, I don't think they have an elite defense either. The only team that really worries me defensively is the Pats. But you just wonder how healthy Garoppolo is. To me, he's still a Cabo last night. And I don't know if you guys agree with me, but um, just some of those sailed throws. He looks gun shy, too, like when he's got a pressure uh, bearing down on him. Um, the one throw to uh, uh, Kyle Juszczyk, he looked like he was bracing for the hit more than he was trying to finish his throw, which is not good if you're a quarterback. Um, but then on the zero, bl uh, you know, on the fourth down play, which was. Uh, you know, man to man, uh, man to man play with the them blitzing. He stood in there and took a shot. So it's I don't know with Jimmy. I just I can't figure him out, man. But uh, this is going to be a test. Niners are going to have to uh, find a way to get through with this one. 
Um, another guy that uh, got dinged up last night was um, Trent Williams with a concussion, but they're also saying he hurt his ankle. So that'll be something to watch uh, as we make it close to the New England game this Sunday. Um, if anything else comes up of any uh, worthy news, I'll drop a video. Um, I'm sure I'll drop something along uh, as the week goes by. I usually do. So everybody have a good day, night, evening, morning, wherever you are. Stay healthy, stay safe. And I'll talk to you guys on the flip side. See ya.